Hi, my name is Steve Kinsley. I'm the Chief Wackadoo at Wackadoo Information Systems. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your account from Wackadoo to accept payments and donations directly from the public. So here we have an example where Acme Corporation has come to us, wackadoo.org, and said we want to use the golf tournament application, which you can see here on the screen. The place that you set up your account is the account detail page. So we're going to go up to accounts and we're going to see here's the the contact information for Acme Corporation, including their logo. And right behind me is the information we're going to talk about in this video, which is all about how we partner with Stripe, one of the more popular credit card payment vendors today, to take payments, to take credit card information, and actually process the payment. We don't do that at wackadoo.org. We simply partner with them and, and let them do what they do best. So there are two things that you have to know. What wackadoo.org does is set up a shopping cart, send that information over to Stripe, along with your account information. So two pieces of information, the shopping cart and the account ID. So you need to set up an account with Stripe that we know about. And the way that you do that is shown here on the screen. So down here, it'll tell us whether or not we've got that account ID. And if the application that you want to use, in this case, Golf Tournament, requires it, it'll give you the opportunity to create that Stripe account. Now, what's going to happen when you click that button is you're going to go over to Stripe. And they have a process for taking your banking information and all that. They do all of that. They keep all that information as safe as possible. And then there's a point where you've put enough information there that they can tell us, oh yes, they're ready to receive payments. So the example that we're looking at, Acme Corp, is one where the purchase has just been made from Wackadoo to use Golf Tournament. So they're a brand new Wackadoo customer. We're now gonna switch over to another test account we use all of the time for our development and testing purposes called Fictional Charity. And we're going to go now look at the details for that account because they're further along the process than Acme was. If we go up to the account page, we see that we have onboarded and saved a Stripe account ID. Great. Step one. Step two, the account is ready to receive payments. Now, if it was not ready to receive payments, at this part of the screen, there would be a button that says continue your Stripe setup and you would have to go in there and you go that would send you over to Stripe and you would continue to go through the process of put maybe you didn't put your banking information in or maybe whatever else they're asking for it's between you and them at that point when they're ready they tell us we can go in and query because we have the account ID and say is this account ready to receive payments and that's what we use here and once you're ready to receive payments you're that's done that's the end of the this topic this video, that's success for this video. We interrupt this help video with a very important announcement. You now have two modes of operation in our application in terms of integrating with Stripe. You can go into test mode, which is your default, where you can put in a fake credit card and you can simulate payments going through so that you can test out our application end to end without having to pay money. You then flip over to live mode, and you had when you onboard again, again, you have to onboard for each mode. You onboard for test, you onboard for live. You put in your real information for your bank when you onboard live, and then you can go accept payments from people. This green button right here, that controls whether you are live or test. Everything else is the same. All the concepts are the same. The donation pages and all of those things will tell you whether you're in test mode or not. We now return you to your regularly scheduled help video. So when people are going to make a donation to you through one of our applications, what that will look like is this shopping cart page. It'll have a different title, a different logo, and a different set of things that people can pay for, but it'll look like this. In this case, we're doing a teacher appreciation campaign called Roses for Teachers and it's got a slogan and it's got a logo. And there are some gifts that were defined in the teacher care application that show up here. In this case, we're going to honor a teacher, Roadrunner, sorry, is uh, the parent of little Jimmy who just absolutely loves math now. So now little Jimmy, uh, Jimmy just 
I can type. I really can. Just loves math now. Thank you. You know, something, whatever note they want to send in. That's what the Teacher Appreciation Campaign app does, the Teacher Care does. So now the checkout button has been enabled. You'll notice that we're in test mode. This is how you, when you're running in test mode and you can see that, um, and so you can go through that. Those messages will obviously not be there when you're live. So we're going to check out. And so what happens is we go out, we communicate with Stripe and say, okay, great. We got all the stuff that they want to pay for and do the credit card. You'll notice that all the buttons are disabled so that you can't change what you're paying for in the middle of this. You're committed at this point. You can cancel and get back out. So we're going to put in the test, whoops, the test credit card number from Stripe. That's not a secret. It's their test data. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to put in a fake zip code because this one doesn't matter. And we're going to submit the payment. And so this goes out and says, okay, take our shopping cart ID and that payment and say, does it go through? Yes, it went through. Here's our thank you page. Two things would have been sent back. One, Stripe would have sent a receipt to the email address uh, in question. And we would have sent a thank you email behind it with more detail on the things that were purchased, the note, the player names uh, for your golf foursome and, or whatever, whatever the application calls for. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what we do and what we don't do. First of all, Wackadoo doesn't touch the money. Wackadoo doesn't touch the credit card payments. When a payment is made, Wackadoo does not take a portion of that money. It goes 100% directly to you subject to the terms and conditions that you have with Stripe because the payment is actually going through them. They will, Stripe will have usage fees and service charges and they'll, they'll have all of that. They'll take a percentage off the top of the payment that they send to you. That's not us. We don't touch any of that. It's that simple. I hope I made it simple. I kind of feel like I didn't, but I apologize for that. Watch it again and see if it makes sense the second time through. If you have any questions or comments about this or any other application from wackadoo.org or wackadoo.info, please feel free to reach out to us. Our information is at the Contact Us page at wackadoo.org and wackadoo.info. Thank you very much.